This video will cover the process of deducting a patient who has moved to a new practice, where a deduction notification has been received by a GP to GP. Unlike patients who have passed away or have emigrated, the physical notes and what to send to a new surgery when a patient leaves depends on whether the new practice allows GP to GP links. If the patient moves to a practice with GP to GP, first navigate to the registration option on the small toolbar where tasks are located. Click on deductions. Find the patient in the list. The deduction reason will display at the bottom of the screen. Click the accept button on the toolbar at the top of the screen. By accepting the registration, you are making the patient inactive. The patient pricey bar will turn gray and the patient task will disappear from the deduction folder. Check to see if the patient's record was successfully transferred via GP to GP by clicking on the GP to GP tab. Under record sent, there are three tabs, unacknowledged, integration failure and integration successful. If the patient's name is in the integration successful file, this means that their records have successfully been transferred to the new practice via GP to GP. If they are in the integration failure or on the registration FP22 reminders box only, this will likely mean that the patient's new practice does not have GP to GP or that there has been an issue with the GP to GP transfer. You will need to follow some additional steps to manually deduct the patient. First, you will need to navigate to the patient's care record and print off the patient's record to send to their new practice. If your practice has had the Lloyd George notes digitised, you will be able to navigate to the documents or consultation screen of the patient's record to open the Lloyd George notes. You will need to go through and check these records to make sure that there is no other patient information inside. If you have not had the Lloyd George notes digitised, you will need to print the patient records in full, including the DocMan documents. You can print the patient's record by selecting the print option at the top of the EMIS web care record and selecting the print summary option. The summary must contain a list of problems, immunisations, care history and allergies. If some data has been transferred via GP to GP, a message will display advising you to only print out new attachments that have been saved in the patient's file since the transfer was completed. The patient summary will display and can now be printed. In DocMan, Select the documents to print by clicking next to each document or using the Select All option. Select Print and the documents will be printed. If everything is in order, put the Patient Information Label sticker on the Lloyd George wallet and place it in the NHS Transit bag along with the printed records. Place the Transit label on the square box of the NHS Transit bag and seal. Once this is complete, navigate back to the Registration screen in Workflow Manager by selecting the Registrations button. Return to the Record Sent box on EMIS and find the patient's name. You will then need to click Complete Task. Next, click on Registrations and click on FP22 Reminders on the left-hand side and find the patient's name and click Send Medical Records. The paper records can then be sent in full or for the parts that were missing from the GP to GP transaction.